Lexington Christian Academy has a new leader. We're joined now by Director of Development, Jill Barnett, to talk about what's happening at the school. Congratulations on the new role. Thank you so much. Tell us all about it. How does it feel to have this new position? Um, I've been in my position as Director of Development for um, almost a month now, and uh, it's, it's really exciting to be at the school. Um, a lot of exciting things are going on. We're, we're celebrating our 35th anniversary this year. So a lot of exciting things on the horizon as, as well as already excitement for the school year. What does this new role entail? So as the Director of Development, um, I am charged with fundraising for the school. Um, so helping organizations within the school that might be doing uh, different fundraisers for their events as well as sort of the strategic advancement of the school um, at large as we look to to grow and look to expand our campus, um, unite our campuses together in one location as we move into the future. So school started back recently. This is your first month. How has that transition been? It's been really exciting. Um, I very, very much have had to hit the ground running. Um, students were in the building, I think, that second week at work. Uh, we also had a really, um, really exciting weekend on campus this past weekend, hosted nearly 5,000 people at our Rose campus, which is on Reynolds Road, for our um, inaugural eCampus.com Bowl. Um, we had two really great matchups um, football, on the football field. Uh, we hosted Bryan Station and Bowling Green for the first game, and Lexington Christian played Pikeville for the second game. Sounds like a lot of fun. I think we had our Brian Milam out there too. You so. certainly did, and uh, both Lexington teams were victorious, so that was, that was outstanding as well. Tell me about the Academy for those who aren't familiar with what all goes down there. Sure. Uh, so Lexington Christian Academy um, is a preschool through 12th grade um, educational opportunity here in Lexington. Uh, we have um, a little more than 1,400 students on two campuses here. Um, and the Academy, we're, we're coming up on our 35th anniversary, as I said. Uh, LCA was formed back in 1989 when two Lexington schools merged. Um, and at that time, uh, we were hosting class in about seven churches throughout Lexington. So parents who, who want to want their students to have a Christian education um, can look to Lexington Christian Academy for lots of different options. We're also really proud of all of the academic offerings as well as athletics and extracurriculars that we have for our students. What are some of those extracurriculars that you offer? We have lots of club opportunities that start um, as young as second grade. So this year, some of our elementary students have, have the opportunities to do things like Girls on the Run. Um, we have a robotics team, robotics club, chess club so lots of the youngsters are getting getting exposure at an early age and then they also have athletics um, choir French club anything that you would expect in, in a um, public high school lots of those options are available at Lexington Christian as well and we have lots of sports teams as well that start um, even in elementary school so a lot of different opportunities lots of opportunities thank you so much for being here with us today um, Congratulations on the new role. I'm excited for you. Thank you so much.